Well, I'm probably doing this backwards today, but welcome. This is my rifle that I have just shot, or I will be shooting here in the near future. Uh, it's a Model 700 M24. This is one of the rebuilds that came in through Remington Defense in about 2015. Uh, the thing that's unique to them is in 2010, when they started the M2010, unless my history is wrong, please feel free to correct me, Remington took back a lot of these rifles. They kept the original stock, the original bottom metal, um, and I think the scope bases as well. I didn't buy those. And they took the barreled action out of them, and they changed both the barrel and put a new barrel and a new action in, but they kept the old parts, pieced them together, and sold these rebuilds to the public in about 2015. Now I did have to buy this scope myself. This is a loophole Mark IV. It's not an M3 Ultra. This is a Mark IV purchased in about 2015. It was 2015, that's when I bought the rifle. I uh, managed to get it through loophole. The unique thing about this scope is that it has one minute of angle elevation adjustments and half minute of angle wind adjustments just like the originals. And you can see here that each number here is actually your yardage that you're dialing in. You can see up here too that this dial is specifically set for the M118LR. Uh, specifically set is probably a, a term that's a little loose. You typically had to kind of make your own adjustments on the fly. Now this is a long action, even though the 308 is a short action, but it is a long action. And I'll see if I can get over here without showing off my serial number too much. And Remington on the left-hand side, 700 M24. Now I have added the stock pack as well, and then I went ahead and did the sacrilege of giving it a paint job again. Uh, but I certainly do enjoy shooting this rifle. I picked it up, like I said, in about 2015. And I try to shoot, no, 50 to 100 rounds a year through it, but I hadn't done that in about a year and a half. So I still had some of this old ammunition that I loaded, which is as close to the original stuff as I could make while keeping some accuracy. Now it is the 175 grain Sierra Match King, and I am using Lake City Long Range 2012 brass. Um, difference is I'm using a CCI BR2 primer, and I've got 42.7 grains of Varget in there. I could never get this rifle to shoot better than about a minute of angle when I used IMR 4064 around the 41.75 grains that you're gonna see for that in Federal Gold Medal Match Ammo. So, had to make a slight tweak, but it typically shoots just over a half minute uh, at 100, and it, <laughs> shooter error and the fact that I'm using a 10 pound scope uh, typically out at distance out to about 400 or 450. I'm usually around two-thirds to maybe three-quarters of a minute with this rifle But it certainly is just an absolute fun thing to shoot It's one of the more enjoyable rifles one of the more fun rifles for me to shoot I appreciate you swinging on by for a few minutes and letting me flap my gums while I shoot it I hope that you all have a wonderful day Howdy folks. Well, it's the beginning of July here in southeastern Oklahoma, so it is ridiculously hot. It's only about 11 o'clock, um, but I had to wait this long just to be able to shoot from the shade. Um, I've got a, uh, a rifle that should have been shot a lot more. Uh, it's an old near dear friend of mine. I picked it up many years ago. It's actually a, a Remington Model 700 uh, M24, uh, one of the rebuilds that they did all oh, about nine, eight, nine years ago. Uh, haven't shot it in a while, and I came across some ammunition, guess it helps if I put it in frame, that I loaded for it. 175 grain Sierra Match King, Lake City Long Range Brass. Uh, never had much luck duplicating the 41.75 grains uh, of IMR 4064, so this has got 42.7 of Varget, but it used to shoot pretty well. So let's see if it still shoots fairly well now. 
Uh, just got a steel target up there about 300 yards, actually right at 300 yards. See if I can get over the tall grass out there in the pasture and underneath the tree. And uh, I'm going to shoot three at the body just to see if uh, everything's still where it's supposed to be. I guess it might not hurt for me to check. Make sure that, yeah, I'm dialed on three. And, yep, yeah, I'm good and left and right. So I'll take a few shots and then uh, I'll may, maybe take five more at the head if this turns out okay. And then kind of tell you a little bit more about the rifle and show it off. So I'll do this in reverse today. But sun's not my friend. It's beating on the barrel and the barrel's already hot to the touch. Like I've fired a couple of pretty good rounds uh, or a couple of pretty good strings, I should say, through it. So let me load these up single shot style and just see where we're at. Let's get this turned on. Managed to twist that already. All right, let's see how we do. Not seeing much for wind, so all dead on. Let's see where we go. Whoa, that's a touch high. Make sure everything's good. See where the next one puts me here. Wind's coming up in my face now. Looks like it's right on top of the other one. Good thing about a 308. <laughs> You know, what we would consider nowadays to be a light rifle, it kind of sh sh shifts you around. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I do believe those three are all together. So, make my adjustments. And then we'll try a string of five or so at the head and we'll see how we do from there. Okay, I'm not going to talk long because the last thing you want to see is some uber white dude displaying his chest hair. Um, start right off here with the first three. I guess I might want to get an angle. And one, two, and three. That's uh, right at three quarters of an inch i have no clue if i'm in frame so i apologize if i'm not three quarters of an inch for three shots at 300 is a fluke um random dispersion rifle doesn't shoot that well with me driving it i don't think it shoots that well period so i uh i shot five shots again and of course some idiot forgot to turn their trigger cam on and this is what we did after i came over a half minute and i went up one minute to get on this zero and no matter how you look at it um, it's about two and a quarter and that's about two and a quarter so five shots and two and a quarter inches at 300 is much more uh, the typical see if I can bring me a, a lot more of the typical kind of performance that I get from this rifle uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this head back up I'm gonna take five more just because I've got them might as well use them up. The ammo is old uh, and I can always load more for it. But I'm going to shoot five more at the head and see if maybe now that the wind's died, if it stays like this by the time I get back, if I can't maybe get a little bit tighter. Other than that, though, uh, that's what it's it's shooting at right now. And I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it, really. All right. Well, some dumbass forgot to turn his trigger cam on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now while well, I have proof <laughs> and I'm gonna give this another shot so I fired three rounds the first three that you probably have seen by now went into three quarters of an inch that is a total uh, fluke that doesn't happen very often um, then the next five went into two and a quarter inches at 300 which is about 
about par for what this rifle can do. So I'm going to try it again and we'll see if I can't get close to that par score. And maybe, just maybe this time, I've got it on camera. So let's stop running our mouth. Turn our camera on. Of course, it might hurt. I, I think I've got it. Hmm, I've never had that happen before. It ejected the empty <laughs> along with a live round. Ooh, so that one's gonna be on me. That's gonna be my furthest right. And I think I'll have trigger cam evidence. All right. Now, let's go see how we did. Okay. One last time, I got these five on camera, although I did drop one a little low and right, but uh, that one was 100% on me. So out of these five rounds over here, started off well, and then I drifted off to the right. I guess I must have missed the wind. But this, if I can get the camera right, one, two, three, and four are back into two and a quarter inches again. Let's see if I can do that again. One, two, three and four back into two and a quarter. This one down here opened it up to about two and seven eighths. So there it is a little bit better, two and seven eighths, I'm sorry. I'm definitely not a professional at this. So not bad, I got five rounds left, but I'm not gonna shoot here today. I'm just gonna keep them for maybe some coyote control or something later on.